concerned. Stop scaring the mice. There yeah. he is. There's our buddy. There he is. It's not going to be your home for long, buddy. Yeah, you're getting evicted. <laughs> oh, right into the fender well. <laughs> so, hi, everyone. Today we got an interesting story for you uh, that started with a phone call last Friday from uh, Mark in New Mexico, who had a DeLorean that he was uh, thinking about selling and called me on. Uh, it turns out that the DeLorean is actually owned by his uncle and is about 70 miles, 60, 70 miles north of the shop and uh, is a 977 mile car. So that's the story on this. Uh, Mark's uncle Dick is in his 80s. Uh, he's he's had some uh, trouble with his vision. And uh, the story he told me, uh, the guy's real sharp and knew a lot about the car. He's an original owner. And uh, he said, uh, you know, the car was last out, it went down his driveway. Uh, sounds like he's got a long country driveway about five years ago. I'm guessing it's a lot longer than that because uh, with this low mileage, this car has spent a lot of time sitting. But we'll see what we get when we get there. And uh, it's kind of funny because this went from a car in New Mexico that I wasn't really too interested in trying to fetch one from that far away, sight unseen, to a car that's really close to us. And of course, uh, what a cool story on a low mileage original car. And so we jumped in the truck. Uh, we're gonna bring you guys along. I do have a trailer in case we do uh, come to a deal on uh, purchasing this car or uh, Mark said either way he'd like to see it come in for service. So we'll see what this turns into. Uh, Kevin is actually coming down and, and the car is kind of right between the two of us. And uh, so Kevin's coming and is gonna meet me there and we'll, we'll take you guys in and show you this car. And we'll let you know what comes of this today, and, and I'm excited to see another one that, uh, being so close to us and 17 years working on DeLoreans, I've never heard of this car. So it's always cool to see another one kind of come out of the woodwork that's been kind of lost to the community, and uh, excited to see what we find up here. So stay tuned, and, and we'll bring you guys along. What's up everybody? Uh, so today we have a little bit of an impromptu video for you. Uh, I just got a call from Mike to meet him about an hour and 15 minutes from here. Um, he's gonna meet me there from the shop and we're gonna check out a car that uh, popped up for sale. Apparently it's been sitting for five years or something is what the owner says, but we have a feeling it's been sitting much longer than that. So we're not really sure what we're gonna find, but uh, Mike and I are gonna cruise over there, meet up uh, meet up together and, and go check this thing out and see if we can't make a deal to bring it home. So follow along, yeah, this should be a good one, I hope. What up? Not much, how you doing? I'm good. Got the bourbons out, huh? Yep. Uh, I think you're at 72. This is 92. I got, I'm not sure which one it is. What one do we have now? So, uh, we got to go down 72, not 92. I'm not sure which one's which here. Yep, 72 is this one, 55, 72. Take a look. And here's the tender. Okay. Take a peek at that in a minute. But uh Yeah, it looks like you do have it hooked up properly. I'll check the cords in a minute. Let me check out the DeLorean and then we'll check that out. Okay, so she's been sitting here a she's bit. She's been sitting here for a little she's, while. She's uh, kind of become one with the barn a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and the doors work well. But okay. When you open them, it really does stink. Okay. And I was afraid to leave them open because so we got uh, Kevin coming here on the with a lot of dirt on it and sitting on sitting on the dirt, but uh, look at the tread on these NCTs. So that's so kind of what you would... Original tires, original NCT tires. So right off the bat, this first tire we're looking at, even though the tire looks terrible and flat, um, it, it does jive with the story on this being a really low mileage car because it looks like it has yeah. bought all the tread. Is that one flat? Literally in the dirt. 
That's like. Yeah, it's flat. It's also like it's also in it's in like the dirt. Inch down into the dirt. Oh. Yeah. Um. So I know it's gonna be. Uh, need both signals. Yeah, we'll probably have to winch, winch it out of here so, for sure. Uh, I don't know. Did we, we didn't bring a we didn't bring an air compressor, did we? Uh, I brought I brought we did. some some little battery fillers. Uh, so I'm gonna take a peek inside for the first time. Uh, job yeah, 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 definitely smell an odor in there. Oh yeah, my god! Oh, yeah. Look at the rodent. Hold on, the cancel. While you're in there with the light, look for a key. Yep, there's keys. Right yep, keys are sitting in with the shifter. Oh, they're so like, in? Yep, they're Looks in. Looks like we have oh, a set right. of keys. We have so a set of keys. I'm going to go get the other side opened up. Yeah, it looks like it's had quite a bit of mice in it, but yeah. take a look at that odometer. Yep, it's right 77 miles. How much? 977 miles. Ooh, okay, I thought it was still under 1,000. Yeah. It wasn't too sure. You just under. So there's a there's a ton of, of uh, rodents were in here. Well, is that a really. plus or a minus? It depends on who you talk to, really. But oh, uh, okay. you know, because some guys say it that means it's been sitting and it needs more stuff, which there's some truth to. But uh, yeah, you know, it it's it's hard to find it with that low mileage at the same time. So. Um, I'm gonna go grab another light. There's something here on the floor, a seal or something. Yeah, it's just okay. So that you know, seal. There's a it's jack bag. bag. Center vents. That's weird because they're there. Uh, there's an ice shield. You see that? There's the center vents, vents and, and there's another set of vents. Center vents. So okay. Um, Got a rusty old wrench. Sure. Yeah, she's, she's, she's infested. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Not much in the glove box. Um. Do we dare look at the frame? I'm afraid. The dirt seems dry. We have to look at the frame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it does seem pretty dry in here, which is a good thing. I see some on some surface rust on the control arm. It doesn't look too bad. There's really good. Very typical of a low mileage car. Oh yeah. They're in horrible shape. The lower the miles, the worse the tow hooks. You know, getting probably it spent more time on and off a winch than it did uh, rolling down the road. Uh, but from what I can tell. Frame looks good. Look at that blue nut. That tells it you it's looks, pretty, looks pretty, it's good. pretty dry, looks but pretty you do see surface stuff on all the suspension. The crumple, the crumple tube looks to be in pretty good shape up in the front. Look at the hoses the and hoses the clamps and the, the coolant tube just has dust on the top. All right, let's go take a shock tower. Looks pretty clean. Upper looks pretty clean. Kind of more of the shame. Frame looks really good. We, uh, we do have some, you know, scrape and paint and chippy on the edges stuff. But overall, the center pretty looks pretty good. Really good in the center. Yeah. Shock's got rust on it, but nothing terribly bad. Look at how nice that cat shield looks. The cat shield, the asbestos cat shield looks great. Uh, the exhaust looks great. Still got some zinc on this bracket, so pretty dry. The muffler, you can look across the muffler and tell a low mileage car by just a little bit of browning in the center. Typical leaks, it's probably the oil light sender that uh, leaks on every single one of these. Here's an odd one, that motor mount thread looks a little weird, but nothing yeah, to worry about. Looks good, the motor mount, the motor uh, mount just look, good. See if you can look at the inside of the right side lower mount. Yeah, let's see, put a peek over there. Car looks to be hard to tell the stainless but it looks good from you know underneath all the dirt even the starter looks to be in you know fairly the, the casing on the starter looks good yeah the whole thing has got a little oh, that's kind of a shame we got loose epoxy but you know overall not not bad overall it's it's looks like it's yeah. never seen salt what do we got for a filter is that a perflux it's a blue perflux yep <laughs> let's see what's the colors of writing can you tell uh, it's usually I can't, a yellow or I can't red. See, I can't see the writing on it. It's so caked in dust. And ah, it's it's so just, it must be oriented towards the top. Okay. I can't see that. The... Uh, I guess we, uh, oop, we got, holy, are you kidding me? Struts to stay up? That's unheard of. All right, I'm going to 
see if we got it. <laughs> what do you got? You got eight squirrel power back there? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Eight whole they, they've power. been back here because I can see all the, the little, see the little nuts yep. chewed up in there. Yep. But uh, the, it looks to be complete. Nobody's like ripped anything apart and left it. You know, uh, early car. I don't. I haven't even looked early car because the center is white. This is a very early car. So uh, I'm gonna go check out the VIN now because that has me intrigued. Here we got early car plumbing, as well. Um, none of that's been changed or modified. Um, we've got textured pontoons. Uh, can we even tell? No, not really. Those are smooth. Smooth, yeah. You can see the hair in them, but they're not, they don't have like that, uh, they don't have texture to them. To them. No. Weave to them. But, uh, so I'm curious now. I don't know if I, I agree April of 81. Yep. 1072. With all your uh, chewings there in your... <laughs> Those are just a bonus. Yeah. Those come... Oh, there goes a mouse. Just had one run right across the center console. <laughs> went under the seat. So we have live rodents living in the car at this point. <laughs> wow. I mean, why wouldn't a mouse want to live inside of a DeLorean? Let's go. Okay. Last there there. Oh, there goes another oh, mouse. Yeah. Oh, there's one cone across ah, there. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> It's a couple of oh boy. areas. Yeah, we're going to take... Uh, I'm glad we had an open trailer. <laughs> Not really... Well, yeah. there's at least at least four mice in the car. We've, 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 we've seen, seen living ones. Yeah. That's the first. I don't think I've seen that many running around. Yes. you got floor mats. Anyway, I'm not concerned. Stop scaring the mice. There yeah. he is. There's our buddy. There he is. It's not going to be your home for long, buddy. Yeah, you're getting evicted. <laughs> oh, right into the fender well. <laughs> He knows, uh, he, knows, you know why it stinks. he knows yeah, this car inside sure. and out better than we do. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got a headliner there and a rag, and it looks like we got a jack bag. Some and stainless clear that uh, it's about done, I think. Yeah, I think so. This is the front plate. But uh, yeah, on the smell -o meter we got about an eight, solid eight. Yeah, I would say all of eight. Yeah. Yeah. This is. <laughs> We had one smellier one at the shop, but this is this is right up there with it. I yeah, think. yeah, I mean, we said we did. It actually was also a 900 mile car that was in a, a similar, I think, a wooden barn that uh, was actually worse than this. And uh, we got the car right, so it can be fixed. Um, it's a lot of work. I think it's cool. It's an early car because uh, my personal car has been 1021, so not 51 up. This right. being what? Yeah, 1072. 1072. So. Yeah, my my earlier car is a is VIN 2530, but uh, okay, you know mine does have the later later plumbing on it and stuff like that. Still a grooved in a gas flap hood though. Yeah, non textured pontoons. But this thing is so cool. It's just it's, you know it's, you can tell it's been sitting here for 20 years and hasn't moved and you know obviously four flat tires. And, oh, here's a weird one, Kevin. It's missing the oh, um, missing the, the, the vents, vents for the all the way louver. in the back of the louver. So. Let's see if this is. But we do have the all important engine cover. The early ones were thin. thin. This is so this one. probably doesn't, this is pro was probably replaced. And the funny thing is, when you get them, when you replace them, it comes without these. You need to move them over. Uh, so this is a separate couple of pieces you have to buy if you're replacing a louver. Um, and I'm guessing this is another tag that would be an inventory tag. So this rear louver has been replaced, is, is my guess. Um, and whoever moved it over, moved over the mounts and the struts and the latch, but uh, it looks like they may have never put this in. So I'm gonna check over here and this could be, you know, one way to damage this is you ever tow the car backwards, which again, we talked about how this thing was probably on a flatbed multiple times because it wasn't driven everywhere. It was probably dragged most of its life. Um, but the good thing is I don't see, if you do this severely, you can damage the rear quarters. If this thing snaps up so violently, these mounts just bend um, and so, that looks good on both sides. So uh, it taking a wild stab at why this may have been replaced, but uh, if it if it did get damaged in towing, uh, I think the majority of the damage happened to the louvers, and those have been replaced. So that's a big plus. But yeah, man, this thing is just look at the the thickness on here. It's just you can write your name on there, Kevin. Mark your territory. I think we will. <laughs> Kevin was here. <laughs> We 
We've got early ashtray, fuzzy, co fuzzy coin tray in the back. So there is most turds in the ashtray. No shortage of most turds in the ashtray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coin tray. Exactly. Let's take a look at the uh, relay compartment. See if it does have a battery in it. It does, still has the cover on it. There's an interstate battery. It's got an interstate here. battery on it. Looks. Oh, here's the, here's the. What's the carpet look like? It's filthy, but it doesn't look like it has battery damage. Acorn if you need, if you're hungry. Yeah, there's, man, there's no shortage of mouse droppings. Um, debris all over the back of this carpet. So there's been, oh, they, this is kind of shredded, but that's not a big deal. Those are replaceable, the cargo net. Oh God, I just moved 400 mouse turds. Early car, so the board doesn't want to come up, of course. It's really stuck. They did a modification where they actually trimmed this board to make it slightly smaller. So they come in and out easier. Ooh, we got some rust and yeah, we've seen better days back here. Yeah, there's some some rust and some animal droppings and yeah, they're always in there. But very original, all original relays, original blue fan fail, typical. Typical of a mileage car again. Uh, we dare go look at what uh, beasts we find in the storage cubby. I think we have to look while we're here. Yep. We need the keys, they're sitting there. found the mouse nest in the and it is completely that is the, that is mouse it. nesting wow that's that incredible. is a full condo You can see how much, how much it raised up once we <laughs> inflated the tires. And we only got this to make sure we get them all inflated before we go topping them all off. Just need them to It's really, them. really sunk in the ground there. Yeah, that was, I mean, it, to here. Wow. So amazing how these, well, the tires are obviously like gone. Let's see if I don't let it all out. Let me take this. Here we go. All right, on to the rears. On to the rears. I got all four spinning. Oh wow. Yeah. We might just need to winch it. It's gonna drag the it will drag the ATV. You wanna back up and hit it? Ripping the, uh, you want me to rip the spoiler, the sway bar off? <laughs> you want to yank on it that hard with? I don't know. I, you can I mean, a little you, hard. I didn't. I didn't really yank. I didn't give it a jolt. I just kind of. Yeah. That's what it. I'm thinking to do, is to give it a jolt, just not terribly bad. But okay. you want me to push while you? While you I guess. It? How is this gear? It's just down for first. Yeah. And then just throttle it. Yeah. Ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Let her rip. Hmm. That is way more stuck than I thought. Yeah, she's stuck. I think we're better off with the truck, maybe. I think we just got to winch it. Yeah. Or, or the put the truck, you mean? Put the, or put the Dodge yeah, in Yeah, maybe here. use this Dodge. Yeah. Or, yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay. Uh, yep, I agree. All right, just back it up. Yeah, you just got more car than you have 
toe here. Yep. Is it okay if we back the Dodge in here? Sure. I think we need a little extra pull power. I think you do. Keep coming. Good. Okay. Take up slack. Tight. Go. You got film going, Kevin? Yep. You got brakes? Because it I, gets downhill here pretty quick. I don't, well. Go, try and move it once. I don't really have e-brake. Okay, uh, is it stiff enough to where it's not rolling? Yeah. There, there's no slack? We'll be okay, there's no slack. Okay. Okay, so outside with this thing, we just yanked it out of the barn, seeing daylight for the first time in about 20 years or so, we think. You can see a little bit better how, how dirty this thing is, and what this interior looks like with a little daylight in it. It just reeks of mouse droppings, but it's still pretty cool. And the headliners aren't even sagging which is pretty awesome for being 42 years old. The headliners all sag on these things. Years and years of dirt, dust built up. You can see where the tires were so stuck into the ground. So cool. See if we can get it back up two feet would be amazing. Let me cut it all the way. Maybe even if I just go to straight, because it rolls easier. Uh, okay, we probably could. We could probably hit that now. Hang on. I'll try to get a little less turn until we get it rolling. Okay, I think we're on it. Come on, lady, let's go. You're almost there, you can do it. We look about middle of the ramp-ish. Yep. Okay, I think it's winch time. Yep. Mark asked me for a picture of you with the car, so we'll just try to snap that sometime before, we, before we're before we gone. Do it while it's still down, or? Yes, we do. Yeah, if you got, if you don't mind. I need to pretend like I'm pushing it up there. Yeah. Flex, will flex for us and... <laughs> How old are you, Dick? 90. Wow. And here's a... A divot? Oh, a strap. Oh, a strap, okay.
So what do you, are we in over our heads? We got a lot of work to do with this thing. <laughs> so on our mouse scent factor scale, yeah, we said I, I originally said, like an eight. Yeah. This I, is probably about a 12. <laughs> I mean, this thing smells so bad inside. I, As you guys can see in the video, there's so many mouse droppings everywhere. Yeah. And I believe there's probably four or five mice at least that are still living in this thing as it sits in the trailer. We, we did see four live so. ones. I think three in a trunk and Kevin caught one other one in the interior. I've never, actually seen mice running around uh in a car i've seen plenty of droppings but never actually four live mice that's a new yeah and, and i had one when we were loading it up i had, saw one run through the, the grill down here right in front of the radiator in front of the condenser so <laughs> so hopefully uh they're out before i get to the shop i'm glad this we have an open trailer right now because i don't want those all in my tra my enclosed trailer um but you know, overall, this I really this is cool that I believe this is really a true 977 mile car. Uh, the tires have as much meat on them. They're dry rotted uh, original NCTs, but they're about as thick a tread as I've ever seen. Uh, so it's great that these tires have never been changed, and that's a very good indicator that uh, you know we're at least close on the the mileage, if not right there. Uh, we'll try to make sure the. Uh, I would say if the speedometer works on this car, we have a true 977 mile car. Yeah, and, and Dick, uh, 90, 90 years old, who we just picked this car up from, he bought this car new from a, from a Chevy dealership, also a DeLorean dealership, I'm sure, back in the day, uh, in, I believe, 1990, 91, somewhere yeah. in there. So we believe um, that the dealer owned it from you know 81 to 91, and then they sold it for the first time. It was just a deal dealer's probably used it as personal car, and uh, you know, then sold it in 91 when, when Dick bought it. So he's the first registered owner of the car. Um, and we have a, a cool DMC 12 plate from 1988. Yes, we do. And another one from 91 was the last time this was registered. So it's, who knows how long it's been since this thing, probably around then when it was actually on the road. Yeah, yeah, they said it had been sitting in that barn for all of, all of 20 years or so. It may have been running at one point. Um, since then, but uh, it, it definitely looked the part of a, of a barn find. Yeah, um, so I, I wanna say thanks to uh, Dick's nephew, Mark, who was the uh, or original person who reached out to us about this car. Uh, and then Dick for kind of taking us around his property, gets around really well for a 90 year old guy. I, I hope I'm half as fit as he is when I'm that age, uh, yeah. if I ever make it that old. Yeah. But, uh, and I'd also like to thank Dick for keeping us here for a little while and having some beers and just, yeah. just talking about life we and the it was great. So. He's got, had some really yeah. cool stories about his property and his job and he had a beer at his really unique bar he's got in his house. Yeah, and here's, a, here's a picture of, uh, of the bar that we sat at for you guys. Yeah. Pretty pretty cool, right in right in his living room. So so um, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, fun fun day. Uh, always always fun to pull these DeLoreans out of out of barns or any classic car out of barns. I just I just love a good barn find, and this one this one really fits the bill. Yep. this is this is a good one, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see this car progress and and hopefully get back on the road. Can't wait so. to get it clean, and uh, we'll we'll probably follow up with a with a wash video because man, that's going to transform this car, and we'll see what we have. Yeah. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on DeLorean Nation. Thanks.